What's good, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Community Voices. Happy holidays and everything as well. Uh, you know, selfishly, I have one goal for myself today, and that's just to be trusted by the end of this interview. You know, because today I'm joined with a certified hip hop producing legend who has continued to raise the bar of his music. I mean, since the age of 13 with Fruity Loops, he's been continuing to just set the bar higher. Metro Boomin, welcome to Community Voices, man. How you feeling? Thank you for having me, bro. I'm blessed. I can't complain. Love, for sure, for sure. I know you're really busy today. I know the album's dropping, so I'm going to get straight to it if you don't mind. So, so let's get it. Cool. Heroes and Villains, finally out. Basically, it's out. How how was the process? Tell me what was your favorite part of the process? How was the process of putting the album together? Kind of take me through that as we, as we approach it. Uh, my favorite part is just always mainly just the, the creating part. So, like, the groundwork or just making beats and just recording songs, recording ideas, you know what I'm saying? Just figuring things out, figuring the whole world of it out. Like, um, so yeah, like the early stages, that's, that's always my favorite part. I love it. Now the rollout for this album has been insane. I mean, even the way you're releasing the fe features, it's something really special. Like that doesn't, I feel like we don't get rollouts like that as much anymore. And this one's really special. And I know mm -hmm. before you released the features and things like that, there was a short film, which was super fired. I, I wish it was like an actual, even of a longer film. I could see a whole movie with right. that. Yeah. I would love to know, like, kind of take me to the thought, in the, in the thought process of doing a short film for the album and, you know, just kind of taking your visuals to the next level. Um, I've worked with uh, Gibson Hazard a couple of times. So um, really coming into this album, I got put out a lot of projects, done a lot of projects. So like, especially for like my second like solo album, I really wanted, and this is why I said in all the meetings with everybody in the team, I was like, this time, I feel like I always bring it with the music, but it's like everything else around it. Like mm -hmm. I, my vision was imagining like, what if everything else around this amazing music was amazing too? And what would it do? You know what I'm saying? Cause we've always done like, well, with like just having the music fire and then like everything else is like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But, uh, yeah, bro. So I had, um, it was really just about locking in on everything else. Uh, the short film was an idea. It was like a baby. It grew. Um, and that's like two years in the making, like a year and a half. I say we've been yeah. working. Amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, man, just all these little things and planting these little seeds. And now it's like, they're all just blossoming right now. And it's beautiful. I can definitely tell because it looks amazing, man. Especially it's those details that, like people really remember the album for, you know what I mean? Like the music is one thing too, but the world that you create around it is what even makes it more special and like long lasting. So I definitely yeah. get you. I'm a student of the game and that's what we grew up on. You know, we grew up like with real album rollouts and just you getting immersed in the world before you even heard the album. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. I definitely wanted to try that out. Now I want to ask this because I know it's been four years since your last project that you just mentioned. At what point did you know this album was complete? Because in that time period, of course, you had other things going on and doing music, but like at what point were you finally like, okay, I'm ready to like it's ready to go and ready to release it to the world? Uh honestly. Maybe like a month ago. Dang, a month ago? Yeah. Yeah. Was it just like small tweaks? Or was it just like what 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 was it that, that made it so um, it was tweaks and I was like sequencing it too? Mm -hmm. So like after the sequence got to like where I was really vibing with it and, and rock with it, I was like, okay, now nah, it's it's ready. Mm, I feel like I, I feel like I bet you sometimes too that when you keep working on it, it's almost like is it ever it's never really perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's just like the perfect and time to go. Happens, you know, I, I was supposed to drop this album like four other times, like before I even announced the date, like definitely worked on it over two years. So it's like, and it'll be this and this, or then this will happen and life hits and just different stuff happens to where it's like, okay, it just wasn't time yet, you know? For sure, for sure. But God always finds time to make the perfect time. So I, I can feel it. And the way the rollout's been, the clarity of it, like it's it's gonna be fine. I'm excited for it myself. Like I'm I'm, I'm up, waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. For sure. Now, we talked about like, you're running in the music game. You're running producing has been, crazy legendary i mean damn it's been what maybe 10 plus years already seems like time flies and you're basically in my opinion and in my eyes and i'm sure the eyes of hip-hop in general like if there's a mount rushmore for producers you're on it i mean you got hit records big sean future whether it's platinum or diamond you got it on your wall basically at this point but with that being said what 
keeps the passion going for you? Like what with all those accolades and like your placement in the game, what kind of continues you to be passionate about the craft and wanting to continue to progress your sound? Um, cause I, I never really see or, or pay much mind to any of that, you know, um, it's been like that since the like early in my career, I was always, well, I feel like I'm early in my career now, but like mm -hmm. earlier, I had always felt like, um, people be like, wow, congratulations to this or this, or you're on this level now. And it's like, I would never feel it. I still don't all the way, but, um, I've learned to, to, um, just be more receptive and um, accept and acknowledge how others view me. So, um, but yeah, I, I've never let none of that like cloud in my mind because it's like everybody sees like where I am and what I've done and they're like, wow, like that's great. But in my mind, it's like I, I'm barely starting. It's like I'm starting still, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I know where I want to go. So it's like, just never losing sight of where I want to go and um, never like getting just complacent or just feeling like, oh, I got it or I'm the man or like, you know. For sure, yeah. Ever, you know? Yeah, no, I totally get what you're saying. And it's interesting that because my next question was, you know, basically like, with, I know you, you have so much experience in the game. Like I said, you have, you've done so much. And I know you're always kind of striving, but at the same time, to others, people who are looking at you, who've been motivated by you, who kind of now growing up on your music, you know, right. how do you kind of, what am I trying to say? How do you kind of usher in the other, the other people, the other people who are inspired by you or kind of, you know, the ones who are looking up to you for how, how to make their records or how to produce their tracks or how to do things. How do you kind of usher in this new field of producers that's coming in with the experience that you have now? Oh, I just look at it like leading by example, like, from day one, just for the producers, just for us to get our, like, uh, you know, just our respect. And our, I know everybody uses this word now, flowers. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I came into it with the mind of, okay, nobody's going to give that to you. You right. know what I'm saying? It's like, you got to you gotta take it. So whether it starts out small, like even when I did my first project in 19 and booming, when I was 18, when I had did that, it was like, that was like the first seed and step to like being able to have heroes and villains. Now it's like a mm. hey, producer project, get all my artist friends, producer friends, let's put it together. And, um, just those step by step to step, um, getting videos shot, like hopping in the video, like should the night said, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, sure. just really vibing, you know? And, um, it's just, I, I've wanted to like, just lead by example with that and just show producers like, look, you don't have to be limited or put in a box or like, um, just in some back room making beats. Like, it's nothing wrong with that either. Like, you know, some people that might be fit your vibe, but it's like, if you want to go for it, you can go for it. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna be living proof and show you like, just go for it. I love that for sure, exactly. And that's really, and that's what's really important, especially at, the, at your stature too, like, it is important to leave out what that they see. And most people are just going to watch what you do. They're going to see what you do. They're going to hear what you do. So really lead by example is probably one of the most important things you can really do. You know what I mean? Definitely. For sure. So like I said, I want to respect your time. So I got one more question for you. It's all good. It's all good. This album right here, this, this is, to me, this is a perfect way. It's going to be a really fire December, fire way to end the year on this year of music. You know, next year, I believe you're turning 30, I believe. Correct? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Sounds crazy to hear it, but yeah, <laughs> I know, right? I just, I just turned thirty like two years ago, or last year, and I was like, like already, I'm blessed, but already, yes, for sure. Well, yeah, we lost <laughs> the COVID years. We lost a couple, like you know, exactly. And so, with that being said, you know, heading into a new year, a new age, what is kind of what, what can we expect from you going into this new year, and, and kind of what is your biggest goal, you know, before you kind of turn thirty or when you do turn thirty. Before I turn or when I turn 30? Um, you can do both, too. You don't have to pick which one. You can do both if you want. Biggest goal. Oh, uh, that's a good one. Um, I really used to have an answer to, to this, and now you <laughs> ask me, it's like I can't find it. But I, <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about it in recent months, too. Like, okay, 30, I need to. Huh. But I feel like I've um spent my 20s just grinding so hard with music and I'm gonna still do that for the rest of my life. But 
like as soon as I hit 30, I mean, I'm play, I've been playing the seeds for it now, but like 30, I want to go just as hard on um, my business ventures and other things like that. You know what I'm saying? Just let that be the next level up, the next step, the next thing to build on. Because as a producer, I love building things. I love putting things together. You know, music, albums, of course. That's why I like doing albums more than like just doing people's songs. Because it's like mm -hmm. you get to just build something. Um, I like cooking food. I like uh just putting outfits together. I like just like creating stuff. So, um, yeah, just building and creating businesses and and just a lot of ideas and a lot of um things that I'm gonna roll out for sure. I feel it. That's fire. And I I, I I'm excited to see what business ventures you get into because today's world is so open. Like the the possibilities are really oh, endless. They're endless. Yeah, they're endless. So I'm excited to, you, to see what you kind of like the lane you go down in the business you decide to take on. Either way, I'm sure you don't kill it regardless. So I right, know that's going. Appreciate oh. that, bro. Yeah, it's Appreciate all about the attention to detail. It's just the attention to detail. Exactly. That's key. That's very key. Well, look, man, I'm excited. Heroes and Villains out now. I'm saying out now because it's Friday. So it's basically out now. Friday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm super excited, man. This is about to be a crazy time. You know, fingers crossed, maybe for a tour or something next year. That's just me saying it personally. But uh, yeah, yeah. Anything, anything else? Any, last thing you want to say about the album or anything before we wrap things up? Mm, I'm gonna just say I got a lot of other side projects and things that I've been working on and albums and things, uh, and mixtapes and shit. But um, I really just been waiting on. I just been having to get this off mm -hmm. to just be like, okay. Now we're in the next phase of my career. It started. Now I could just have fun and do all this other stuff that I've been wanting to do. But I couldn't do any of that other stuff or put any of that stuff out or make any other music until like, I got this off. You know? So just I say just look out because it's, it's about to be like, I'm not going <laughs> to stop after this. <laughs> I'm ready, bro. We need that. I, I, I love a comeback and then some consistency. I'm all here for it as a fan of the game. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah. But I'm gonna let you get back to it. I appreciate you very, very much. I know you're busy. Hello. I appreciate, I appreciate you and your time. It. Definitely. Some good and questions. I'd like to work together in the future. Nah, for sure. It's definitely. Up. For sure. All right, man. Well, you enjoy. Take care. I will say get some rest, but turn up. Just turn up. <laughs> I, get some rest. I might do a little both for real, but um, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you and your time, man. I hope you enjoy the album for sure. Oh, for sure. I'll, I'll tweet about it for sure. <laughs> All right, let me know. I'm gonna be looking out. I got you, man. Much love. All right. Much love, bro. God bless. Thank you. You as well, man. Take care. All right. You too.